All right, people, welcome back. More vine than wine. So today is Monday, and that means that we're using you by Arc Fiends. And yes, people, it is actually on time. I'm feeling much better, much better. I'd say I am like 95% good, 95. I'll get the occasional cough, occasional sneeze, occasional runny nose, but I am feeling totally fine and up for playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! So today we are doing up against Black Luster Brony. You got anything to say about that? About what? My opponent. What's his name? Black Luster Brony. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Why are you going to put Black Luster in the same category as Brony? Go, I hope you lose. <laughs> Fuck you. Let's go. Black Luster Brony. <laughs> My little brony, my little brony. <laughs> You're too old to be watching that fucking show. Damn. <laughs> I'm, am I lying? I, I don't know. I don't, I've never watched it. I have never watched it's it. It's a show about ponies. I'm pretty sure the cutoff age is like fucking one to ten. Damn. We're over ten. You're watching My Little Pony. Nah, yourself now. Nah, nah, nah. I don't want to send you. Actually, you know what? I'd rather go ahead and send you bell because I have lots of oasises. This man says he likes his odds. He likes the power of the brony. He thinks he's going to do good. So, let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and do the classic play. So, I'm going to get a nice send. This man has a 60 card deck, 5 extra. Alright. He likes his odds, though. Alright, while your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you control them in his hand. The card cannot attack a turn to summon. While you control Toon World and your opponent controls no Toon monsters, this card can attack your opponent directly. Wow, so it doesn't need Toon World. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. I could go ahead and just take the Toon Cyber Dragon. With the falling down. If I really wanted to. I hate when my opponent doesn't do anything. I want to X time so fucking bad right now, but there'd be really no point. If I go summon an XC into Exiton, I'd have one, two, three, four, five, while he'd have, of course, six. He set all that fucking back row. But I will lose both my Oasis. I guess I shouldn't have set them both. And even if I chain, even if I activate and summon you, Bell, then I would be up by. Yeah, we'd be even. I'm gonna activate summon you bell and summon XC. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, that was terrible. Summon XC. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be even. Ah, oh, I hate when my opponent sets an ass ton of back row. I also don't like going against tombs. If that's what I'm going at. If that's what I'm dueling right now. Mmm. I don't know what I want to do. I would like to possibly try to go for a King of the Pharaoh Lance, but I'm not sure about that either. Maybe a one on one? That might not be terrible. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon. Okay. I'm gonna try to go for a one on one. Of course. That card's so annoying. Bones controls much while you control it too much to shuffle that monster back into the deck. Wow. It's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> I said, I don't like tunes. Tunes are annoying. They're like glorified Watts. But they were around before Watts. So would that make Watts? Shitty ass tunes. There you go. <laughs> Shitty tunes. Because it's not going to duel me. So I guess this guy likes his odds just because it's gonna attack a tune roll on the field destroy destroy its card. Uh, if tune roll is on the field to destroy destroy its card. It's kind of so while you control a tune roll on the other side, you can tribute one monster to a quick round damage your opponent, I guess. I thought it was if they don't control a tune world then it's destroyed, but I guess. So instead of attacking my monsters, he, he'd rather just go ahead and not attack. Okay, I guess. Normal summon. That okay. 
Or another briefcase. I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into one on one. I'll pay cost, detach two. Alright. Went ahead and took his tomb cyber dragon. So I really don't care what really what happens to one on one right now, so I'll just go ahead and pack. Let's play D Prison. Not a lot of people are playing D Prison right now though. There is not a lot of D Prisons. You notice that? D Prison has not been played, has not seen the building in a cool minute. Oh and I'm not gonna set the reverse yet yet. I'm okay. So it's not like he's gonna get over my my one on one. He's just gonna summon tunes and attack me directly. So I guess he's just waiting for his Tin Kingdom. But hey, you're the one to decide to go ahead and run a sixty card fucking deck when you run a deck that's so reliant on having your damn field spell. All right. Well, in any case, I'm gonna activate this. Target Armageddon Knight. Oh, forgot the second D. Summon Armageddon Knight. Fact. Armageddon Knight. Go ahead and send me Eris. Eris, get your effect on, girl. Go ahead and get me Emperor. Draw. Wow, I I am just getting all the snatch deals. <laughs> 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 That's fine. I totally don't mind that. Hmm. Not much to do with Emperor, though. I don't want to banish neither one of these two cards, actually. Actually, you know, I should have got my trap card, my revival card. Roar, yeah. It's cool, though. But I'd rather have I'd rather have both of these in there, actually. They're both pretty good. But you know what? It's okay. I might just go ahead and summon Emperor, banish Eris, and get start cleaning up this back row. Back row is probably more of a threat than anything. Yeah. So start cleaning up this back row. He, he likes his chances. He feels good about his chances in the duel, so. Because my opponent doesn't even know what I'm doing. He's kind of just sitting there dumbfounded. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh no! Like, you want to go ahead and destroy that card for me? Then that would be great. Mm. Thank you. Yep, look at that. Fucking tomb related cards, but without your, uh. Without your field spell, you really ain't doing shit. Or Toon World. Yeah, you need your Toon World or Tin Kingdom. Yeah, really, nigga? Really? Wow, wow, cheated, wow. Can't can't set her. So good job. Good job. <laughs> yeah, you feel good about your fucking chances, you fucking scrub! <laughs> Damn. You only blockbuster brony, you're fucking scrub brony. It says right there in the first fucking sentence. <laughs> fucking cheater? First fucking sentence. Cannot be normal summoned or set. What's he do? Set it. Fucking cheater. Fucking cheater. You feeling good? You felt you felt good. I felt pretty good that you gonna lose. Let's go, sleepy eyes. Sleepy eyes white dragon. Trying to be the new age nice. <laughs> Alright, this one's a little bit better. Hmm. But he has Tay on his fucking thing. Yep. Scrub! <laughs> Damn. Tay only has what, one win under her belt? I think so. My? I no, think. no, she has two. Oh. When, she, uh, when they went to that virtual room and she dueled that penguin. Yeah. Yeah, she has two wins. It's two pro? 
He's too pro. Two wins, no losses. Best record in all of Eagle history. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> she has a 100% win rate. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? I mean, <laughs> even you say lost, I think, once or twice. <laughs> you can lost a grip of times. Yuma. <laughs> Next, um... And I don't know about uh, Tomato Head. What's his name? Uh, Yuya. Yeah, Tomato Head. Damn. He's lost, a, he's lost a couple times. See, there you go. Tay has the best record. Mm. Everybody assumes that just because I like you, Bell, that my picture would be Jaden. <laughs> I thought you'd put Supreme King Jaden. Oh, you need like 2,000 wins to get him. God damn. Fuck that. I mean, in rated. 1,500? At none. Oh, you need to do all right. Yeah, you have to be in rated. Screw you, yeah. Deanne. I'm none. Yeah. I'm blocking the good pictures against wins. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> so... I'll just go to the next best thing, my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist. And the best. <laughs> and the best. <laughs> if you say we're well, fuck Yu-Gi-Oh, we're well, fuck Jaden up, we just need to use Yuma because he's a cheater. And I don't know why this new guy, can he cheat? Mm, sort of. It's explained. Yeah, nah, he can't really cheat. Okay, then, then you say he can't best. really cheat. Cause you say he can cheat. But he can't cheat like Yuma. You say can draw any card he wants to and make fucking Majestic Dragon pop out whatever he wants. Yuma can make any card he wants to think of. Anything at all. Yep. So you say with summon like Super Quasar Omega Dragon, a new form of Quasar no one's ever seen before and he can use, and it's broke as fuck, negates everything, can't be targeted by shit, and when it's removed from the field he can summon five dragons from his extra deck. And then mm -hmm. fucking Yuma would be like, yeah, oh, Yuma I activated would, my... Oh, yeah, Yuma would be like, Shining Draw! I equip Zexa Weapon, Stardust Killer! It negates the effect of all of monsters with Stardust or shooting in their name. All their effects are negated on the field, graveyard, and hand. And when it's destroyed, you take damage equal to its attack and defense. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do this at all. What's she playing? Gradles. Gradle, gradle, gradle. She made it out of... Sounds like, sounds like such a hypocritical thing to say. Monster, she will take. With Evel Gradle... Evel Gradle's... But, or Gradle Evel, but seriously. This deck is very, very good and very fucking difficult. Gradle? You don't have one. That counts as a trap? Like, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. wait. You can do that? You can do that. I don't think that counts as a trap. I don't think you can do that. What's he do? He, my Armageddon Knight was equipped with his Great Old Cobra, right? Right. Then he wants to go Magical Planner on the Great Old Cobra. No, it's, no, true, it's, it's not a trap. Equip card. If a monster's equipped to another monster, it's true as an equip card. Equip spell card. So, no. It was a card to, to add for this archetype. You can't... The Cobra's not a trap. It's, it's, in, it's, it's an equip spell. <laughs> acting like this is new they've had monsters that have done this in the past not a lot of them but they have monsters that when it destroyed or something like that you can equip it to a monster and take it or equip it to the a deck has, the deck has continuous traps but that's, that's not one. one of them I say I know like really like I know you can't do that mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be that would be mm. no it's like an equip spell, right? Is that what it counts as? Or is it just a monster just equipped? It's just a monster equipped, isn't it? So the equip monster is destroyed, right? I said this duel this is going to be a pain in the dick. To say the least. I'm gonna hold on to this Regeki. You know, I could probably throw it at him, especially since there's nothing to equip to. Even if it's alligator, I my uh, fortune tune can't be targeted, so that's not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and summon this Dark Ruffer. I said, as we got, as we know, Gradles, all of their cards are good, so this is going to be a difficult duel, to say the least. Like that new Synchro deck, all their cards are good. What are they called? Speed Trap? Speed Drive. Mm -hmm. 
Put, giving Cyrus a run for his money with them roids. Oh, yeah. Like, nah, Cyrus, these ain't just regular roids. These are roids on speed. <laughs> mm -hmm. The yeah. drug? Yes. Or is it drug? Yeah. I'll just go ahead and kill my mom, my own monster. And I said, if you want to go ahead and take the time to go ahead and like ram your fucking gradles into my shit, I don't care. But I'm gonna take the little dice and clap casual. Cause take it slow. <laughs> I know, Gradles, everything Gradles have are good. Everything. Their traps are good. Their spells are good. Their monsters are good. Their, their synchro is good. So. This man is running Crane Crane. Yep. This man's going Crane Crane it up, people. I got another three monster in Gareth. That's in the target. That's in the end. Yep. But, of course... Cobra resolves in the grave, so <laughs> doesn't even matter. <laughs> now, whether you want to see or not is the choice is yours. But activate this card by targeting one face of monster you control. Equip it. Sorry, you control. Equip this card against fire attack during your main phase. Okay, that's fine. Your main phase. If this card is equipped to a monster. By its own effect, you can send this card to the graveyard. Oh, okay, now you're gonna activate it. Okay. Yep. Wait, does that count? Split? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Happen now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Split counts. I don't think I don't think split counts. It doesn't have the logo or the insignia. He wants to use the magical pun that says send one face up continuous trap card. Yet split stays on the field, but it doesn't have the continuous. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't have the it it doesn't have the continuous continuous symbol. Why are you all up in your deck? This nigga's all up in his deck fucking searching and shit. Get out of your deck. Get out of your deck, you fucking cheater. Like, out of your... You, you didn't know you could just do that? Like, really? You can just hop in and look in your deck. It doesn't have the continuum symbol. It's more like a weird equip spell. Yeah, I think when it comes to Magical Planner, it definitely specifies a continuous trap. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not a, it's not a continuous. If it was a continuous, it would specify with a continuous symbol. Magical Planner is a pretty old card. I think it definitely wants to specify. It definitely has to be a face-up continuous track. It wants that logo. You know what? I'm not even going to deal with this guy. Or girl. Or whatever. I'm not even going to deal with it. We're going to get one more dueling. Because that duel is already going absolutely fucking nowhere. Nor do I really feel like teaching that person fucking how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, not even at all. Classes yeah. are on Monday. <laughs> Seriously. Like, do I, nigga, do I need to throw a fucking rule back at you? Do you need to look at the fucking continuous fucking symbol? Yeah. You know, I said, I think a card definitely wants to specify. Yeah, I mean, it's a trap card that stays on the field because it's kind of like an equipped trap, yeah. But it doesn't have the symbol. It doesn't have the symbol. No good. No dice. Sorry. And then the man goes in his deck and looks at it for no fucking reason. Like, really? Really, really? Yeah, like, oh, let me just go ahead and go in my deck and look. Like, dude, that's, that's, that's irreparable game today. That's fucking game loss, like, hella. You don't sit there at fucking regionals and fucking go and look in your deck and shit. Mm -hmm. Ah, <sighs> whatever. I got other shit to do today. I don't got time to teach you how to fucking play Gradles. Oh my god. No, thank you. That dark fault on that? Yeah. No. Worse. No, not worse, but just as bad. 
What? Dante not Dak. Ah. No, thank you. Swag so King himself. Yeah, I'd rather not duel against the pimp Swag King himself. I really don't feel like dealing with him. Dante got that swag. What? <laughs> Oh, the hate is mad, but... Like, I know, I just... I reviewed Beatrice on card view, but no. I don't want to duel against Burning Best. I don't want to duel with Burning Best because I suck with it. So, I'm You don't gonna... like that milling crap. I don't. Do. I don't like the milling crap, and I'm not good with the deck at all. I'm, I'm kind of, actually, I'm kind of booty with it, so I'd rather go ahead and just leave it alone. Let's go ahead and set and pass. Another fucking... Kea. <laughs> Please. No, it's a new person. This is... Is that an R? It's an I think it's number tech fifty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's one of the many U Bell decks. It does have U Bell in it, and it does have synergy. I mean, what do you expect? Sometimes I don't deal with the U Bell deck, but if I'm on DN, fucking ninety nine point nine percent of the time, if I'm on DN and I'm doing it, it's something with U Bell. I think I've only not dueled a C-Bell deck on here once, so I think it was on a live stream. No, 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 scratch that. Live stream or April Fools. So. Any other time I'm dueling, it's gonna be. Because if I'm not dueling with C-Bell deck, I'd rather go ahead and just duel on DN, so. Ugh. Man, I got like no plays right now. Right, I'm not gonna come after you with Arch Fiend. I'd rather just go ahead and keep the face down, keep the element of surprise. I'd rather you go ahead and attack into her. <laughs> Fucking draw all tonight, man. That's great. Probably one of the most useless draws I could ever draw in this deck, so that's yeah. good. Essentially a dead draw. Ooh, Black Wings. Okay. Oh, I'm getting jumped. <laughs> Heck yeah! And not even by the good black wings either. What do you mean? Like he Mistral and fucking Oh scrub shit. Ghibli J Ghibli Ghibli? Not the Ghiblis. Yep, he's got the Ghiblis, man. He got the studio. Sink seven. Oh, God, no. <laughs> How are you sinking seven? Hola, 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 hola. What did he use two tuners? He for one, you use two turners. For two, three, plus three, plus two? Really? I know. Really? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One. <laughs> you have two tuners. Two. Three plus three plus two equals seven? <laughs> really, nigga? <laughs> Man, I should have known you were a scrub. You have a tail picture. Yep. <laughs> tail picture equals scrub. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you want to go these two, sink five, and then, you know, sink eight. Well, 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 first, well, first, first, you have two tuners. I have two tuners. So, if you want eight, then you are going to have to go... Sink five, then sink eight. Unless your card specifies two tuners. Oh, and Renning's like this sink or my <laughs> He's shaking nope. his head. Nope. 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 Unless you're going in the red. No, nope. Nope. <laughs> Calamity King. Nope. <laughs> so, so, let's go ahead. Let's see that sink five, then that sink eight. Mm -hmm. like I said, people, I just want to get this last duel in. I say you probably want to go ahead and go into a Beals. You want to go into a Beals? I don't give a fuck, but at least do it right. No. No, that's not right. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Squab. <laughs> I never really found Black Wings to be that difficult of a deck, you? What? I never really found Black Wings to be a difficult deck. It's not. Just attack relentlessly. Alright, one turn or one turn monster. Alright, so you're gonna go ahead and go into Graham, that's fine. And then you're gonna go ahead no, 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 no. What no, happened no. now? Two or more. Two or more non tuner. 
Okay, I'm going to him. No, 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 no. Graham and, Graham, Graham and Grave is right. He tried to go into Silverwind. Me too. Yeah. Who goes into Silver? Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> rub. Who uses that? No one uses silver one. Like I said, you want to go Graham? Graham. You want to go ahead and sink your Graham with your Gale? Deals. I don't even care. Mm -hmm. Just stop scrubbing. Stop scrubbing. I don't care. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. You're making it way more difficult than it should be. Grandma's right. Grandma's right. Right. Then sink Graham and Gale. Yeah. All right. That's fine. That's fine. You want to go on the ground? That's fine. You want to go ahead and summon something out of your hand? That's fun too. I don't care. You can sink. You can. You can. Sink Bram and Gale into a eight. As long as the requirements are right. Right. I don't care. You can go into fucking builds. I don't give a fuck. Builds who, bitch? But you can't go into fucking Silverwind because it's just two or more. Mm-hmm. Stardust. Beals. Scrap. I don't give a fuck. Just do. Uh... You know, Jeez Louise. If you're gonna sink, do it right. Jeez Louise. <laughs> he said, Jeez Louise. Oh God. I don't. It's not that hard. For real. What the fuck? Play, you fine. On your fingers if you need. Fine. To. I don't One, care. That's two, fine. Three. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You want to sink into that? Out of all the cards, you want to sink into? You want to sink into that? Fine. I don't care. You don't know what this. You don't. Even, you. Did you, are you even looking at what this man went into? What are you going to? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Who are you? Who are the, what, are you what are you synchro summoning into? <laughs> you synchro summoning into the stupidest shit that no one uses at all. <laughs> Crow barely uses that crap, and it's his shit. Yeah. <laughs> I've rarely seen Crow go into that card. I think he did it, what, once or twice? He did it twice. <laughs> he did it freaking twice. And it was for a freaking purpose the second time. The first time he did it because he just got it. And he happened to be dueling against somebody who's a, who's effect, you know, would help, you know, against mm -hmm. that. That's it. It was dueling against that Burn Gregor guy. I said, I have a feeling that A, he's either going to try to use Icarus attack on me with it, or B, he's going to go ahead and try to use its effect when I do battle damage. <laughs> I guess. It's gonna be all stupid. It's gonna be all stupid. I fucking guess. Normal summon. Is that okay? I'm about to take your monster. Falling down. It's too good. It's fucking snap steal for Archfiends. Falling down? Give me your monster. Can I have your monster? May I have that, please? Thank you. Thank you. I look. I feel like that one girl off that fucking commercial with the ottoman. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she was sinking deep into that chair. <laughs> You gonna take the 19? 
I said, you can't play your fucking Black Sonic. You don't have any Blackwing monsters. Is that math right? Yeah, it is. Go ahead. During your standby phase, I will be taking 800. These crabs. You know you want to know for fun. These crabs. That's okay, cause they're a chump. A chump. Wait a minute. So you said that tear picture you take, have the word new. <laughs> you take eight hundred damage. If you would take damage from a card effect, I can. Oh, I could play. I could place a counter, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> I could. I could place a counter to go ahead and block the fucking uh, falling down. Then why don't you? I don't feel like it. I'd rather go ahead and keep the twenty eight hundred attack. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, see, your monster helped me out, bitch. How you like it? Go attack my black winged dragon. Lose a seven attack for each black winged counter. Once per turn, you can move all black counters, then target one face up monster, lose a seminar attack for each counter, then flick damage to your opponent equal to the damage loss. Mm -hmm. That has a booty effect. That is so situational. It's the butts. Ooh, okay. So, five or more. When opponent's cards are targeted, when you have five more black queens, you go to Shaw Monster Black Controls. Hmm, okay. That's fine. Cool story, bro. <laughs> cool story. Alright, cool story, bro. Oh, I can't attack this turn. That's right. I should have some defense. We can't attack this turn. <laughs> um. No, I'm good. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> Go ahead. Wow, he actually used the fucking Blackwing Blacklash. Blacklash. Backlash. 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 You have like five Blackwings in your graveyard? Mm hmm. What is it? Like destroy cards in your monster? Destroy monsters your opponent controls. Did he get you with it? Yeah. He had exactly five. When I declared the the direct attack, the attack. Uh, can't uh, speak. Uh, uh, direct attack. <laughs> so your fault, Black Lash. That's actually surprised. It's not called Black Lash. <laughs> I, I know. They're probably like, nah. That's gonna play on the words. That's for Rose. The beat. He's so good. He's okay. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna summon Zephyros the Elite, that's fine. And then not attack! You fucking sob. <laughs> that's fine. Falling down again, give me your Black Wing Zephyros the Elite. <laughs> another falling down. Right. I just keep on making this man fall. So you got another one? You got another backlash? Really, I really wouldn't care. Wow. He didn't have another one. Squab! Alright, I'm done, people. <laughs> I'm tired of dealing with these squabs. <laughs> Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Rhyme and Why. Squab! Even our train's still being really good. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Labrador Bell. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.